It's been a busy avalanche season so far. In fact, the Colorado Avalanche Information Center says it's seen almost six hundred avalanches, which is more than typical for this point in the year. Yeah, that's a lot. And I spoke with the experts to get some advice on how you should play it safe if you're exploring Colorado's backcountry and heard from one man who just got caught in an avalanche. Robert Paulson has been an avid outdoorsman for about five years now. I skied over 200 days in Colorado backcountry. The 28 year old lives in Alaska, but was just in Colorado last week. On Thursday, he and a friend checked out a popular spot called Coon Hill on the Summit County side of the Eisenhower Tunnel to do some backcountry skiing. It's quick access to a lot of big bowls and, and faces and some, you know, cool, cool low angle stuff for uh, early season. We started skinning and, you know, we were, we were going out there and, and uh, pretty immediately I was like, well, this is not ideal. There's very little snow. Not long after, Paulson noticed something was wrong, soon realizing he triggered an avalanche. When I took a couple more steps that the entire slope fractured and started sliding. There was a little bit of snow that moved around me, but I was able to stay on my feet and it slid by me. Paulson noticed another skier get caught in the avalanche. Thankfully, he says that person made it out safely. Ethan Green with the Colorado Avalanche Information Center says there's been more avalanches than typical for this point in the year compared to the previous 12 winters. Between October 1st to December 4th of 2022, CAIC recorded 575 avalanches. 143 were triggered by people, which CAIC says is a pretty high number. We have a fairly weak underlying layer of the snowpack. It's very fragile. With recent avalanches near Berthet and Cameron Passes, Green says ways you can be prepared to hit the backcountry are checking the avalanche forecast on CAIC's website, bring extra supplies, and educate yourself. If your goal is to travel on snow-covered slopes steeper than about 30 degrees, uh, you should take a, a course where you're in the field with an instructor um, looking at the snow and how to travel through avalanche terrain. A lot of good advice, and so far there haven't been any avalanche deaths this season, according to the CAIC's website. However, there were seven last season. Four people were killed in an avalanche while snowshoeing, climbing, or hiking. Two were killed skiing and one snowboarding.